Hi there, this is Architect David. Welcome to Arkida, where you can learn anything and everything about construction. For this video, we will be talking about time management. What is time management? Time management is the management of time spent and progress made on project tasks and activities. Excellent time management requires the planning, scheduling, monitoring, and controlling of all project activities. When some people refer to project time management, they also refer to the tools and techniques used for managing time. A project, by definition, has an official end date. In order to meet this date, every project needs a schedule and to manage their own time and the team's time to ensure that the schedule is met. Imagine you decide to renovate a bathroom in your house. You figure you'll do it in your spare time. So you don't give yourself an end date or create a project schedule. You also don't do anything to make sure you regularly have time to work on that renovation. So what happens? If you're like most people, the answer is that years go by and your project never gets finished. Like it is faced with constant delays and you may run into the following issues like you felt too busy to work on it, so you pushed it to the back of your to-do list. Or, you didn't order the new tiles in time and had to wait for them to come in. Another is, you weren't able to find the plumber and couldn't install the sink or toilet after they were delivered. Or you may found out, or you may find out that late, that inspections need to be booked months in advance. And so on and so forth. That's why time management is so critical. Without it, projects won't get done on time and may not get done at all. So, project time management is the project management process of analyzing work and developing a timeline to ensure you complete a project within a particular schedule. There are six steps when managing project time. One is to define the activities. Define all the tasks necessary to produce the project's final deliverable. Second is to sequence the activities. Set the order of the task and deliverables. Third is to estimate resources. Identify what resources are needed as well as the quantity to complete tasks and produce deliverables. Fourth is to estimate the duration. Figure out how long each task will take to complete and estimate the duration of the entire project timeline. Fifth is to develop a schedule. Using the above information, create a project schedule. Then the last is control schedule. Develop a strategy to mitigate the risk and address changes to the project schedule when it is executed. So the question arises, why is managing time in project management important? Time management is important during a project in order to meet your deadlines and complete your tasks successfully. There are three primary factors that affect a project management or project manager's overall success. The first is the commitment to the budget. The second is the ability to meet the project requirements. And the last is the time management skills. Managers who remain aware of time requirements and project deadlines often benefit from increased client and stakeholder satisfaction, decreased instances of procrastination, it lowers the stress and anxiety, it has smaller, more manageable assignments, and the last is satisfaction from higher rates of achievement. Here are 15 time management strategies for project managers. The first is to create a project plan. Set the structure for your project by creating a well-defined project plan you and other project participants can follow. This can include all the tasks needed to complete your project with a description of each task's duration and the team member responsible for it. Make sure your project plan is accessible to all team members so that they know the expectations. Second is to set a time limit. To make sure your team stays on schedule, set a time limit for each task. For instance, an advertising agency may target to finish their advertisement draft 
by the end of the week. This helps the team members know what to expect and can ensure the team completes all the project tasks. It also helps make it easier to assess if you're on track to meet overall deadlines. The third is to delegate the task. Another way to help manage time during a project is to delegate tasks to others. This can be helpful if there's someone who has better skills to do a task or more time than you. Delegating tasks can help you find time to focus on more important project elements that require your specific skill and knowledge. The fourth is to use time management tools. When managing many components of a project, consider using a time management tool or application to see where you spend your time. This can be helpful for discovering how much time you take to complete a particular task so that you can set aside the right amount of time to complete a similar task in the future. Being mindful about how you spend your time can help you discover strategies for improving efficiency and productivity. The fifth is focus on one task at a time. Instead of multitasking, focus on a single task. Channeling all of your energies on one assignment can help improve your overall performance. One way to do this is by time blocking your day, where you set aside a period of time to do one task, followed by another period to complete a different task. The sixth is find your productive time. To get the most work done, discover the times you work the best and have the most energy. Once you know when your peak working time is, you can schedule your high priority task for that time. This can help you use your time more effectively. The seventh is to use a timer. Using a timer allows you to set time constraints for tasks and when you have a goal, it may help you speed up your task completion. Setting a timer can also help you create time blocks so that you can focus on one task before moving on to another. The eighth is take a break. When working on a project, remember to schedule in some breaks to help you mentally recuperate. Taking a break allows you to maintain a strong work ethic and build your creativity. Once you resume your work, you can approach it with a fresh perspective. Schedule some buffer time between tasks to help prepare you to start the next assignment. You can also use a break as a type of reward for yourself after completing a task. The ninth is set priorities. To make sure you complete your most important tasks first, set priorities. Categorize assignments based on their urgency and importance. To help you prioritize, consider labeling assignments with the following titles. For example, one is important and urgent. Another may be important but not urgent. Then a third would be less important but urgent. And the last would be less important or urgent. The tenth is know your limits. When managing your time, it's important to commit to what you can deliver. This may involve telling your managers you already have a lot of assignments to work on currently and asking if they can postpone new requests or asking them to help you prioritize your assignments. The eleventh is review your day. At the end of the workday, review what went well. If you left some tasks incomplete, consider adding them to the next day's schedule. Reflect on what may have be put you behind schedule so you can improve in the future. Also, create a to-do list of the top tasks you plan to accomplish the next day. The twelfth is automate recurring tasks. Another way to save time is by automating recurring tasks. For instance, consider setting up an automation to email the agenda and notes after every weekly project meeting. Automation features usually allow you to pick a weekly, monthly, or yearly repeat option. Number 13 is Download Extensions. 
Consider downloading extensions to help eliminate simple daily tasks that can interfere with your big projects. Some tasks to consider using extensions for include email sorting, proofreading, sending relevant news clips to yourself and creating meetings. But therefore, this can streamline tasks and improve efficiency as well. Number 14 is to combine similar tasks. Because switching between tasks can involve alternating mindsets, assign similar tasks to one individual. This helps to eliminate the time it takes for someone to reorient themselves. To do this, categorize a type of task under one label so that you know to assign them with other similar tasks. And the last is to create focus times. If you find you're routinely getting distracted when trying to focus, consider creating a block in your calendar just for focus. Make it clear to others that you are not available for meeting or communications during this time. This can help you accomplish important tasks without interruption. Well, I hope you've learned something new regarding time management. Watch out for my next video. Click the subscribe button to discover all the other videos in this site. Click the notification bell to be notified about new videos that we post. If you have additional comments, please post them down below or at our Arkida Facebook page and I will answer all your queries. Thank you.